Use only gimmicks that you have designed that produce visuals we haven't seen. Everyone watch very closely that Jeremy will not respond because it would be impossible for him to do what I just said. You sad little king. And that's because it's a real f skill. Any of that creativity give you license to be abusive or talk to me or anyone else on this platform the way you have? F no. So that was dramatic, wasn't it? Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Magic News. I have not done one of these in a while, so it feels good to be here reporting on what is happening in the Magic community and giving my opinions on it. The reason I've not done one of these in a while is because nothing really that interesting was happening in the Magic community. But last night I went on Instagram and I could have sworn I had walked into a butcher's. Why, you may ask? Because of all the beef, that's why. <laughs> Terrible joke, and I apologize about that, but basically I went on Instagram and suddenly two magicians, who I respect a lot, were kicking off at each other very publicly on social media. And to be honest, I don't know about you, but whenever I see this happening, whether, whether it's YouTube drama or Instagram or magicians arguing on the Magic Cafe or whatever, I always find it a little bit embarrassing. I don't know, it's just a little bit cringy when people are arguing so publicly, defending the fact that they are right. It happens all the time on the internet, and I always think it's a little bit embarrassing because can't you just talk to each other privately instead of posting videos so publicly on social media? It just doesn't seem like the most grown-up thing in the world to do. But anyway, it did happen. These two magicians, Caelan Morelli and Jeremy Griffiths, 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 that's quite a difficult surname to say. But before we get into what the hell happened, I'm going to talk about them separately and what they do. So very quickly, Kaylin Morelli is essentially a magician. I would call him a magician, maybe he would call it something else, a visual artist, I don't mind. But he creates optical illusions and posts them to his Instagram account, The Nothing Experiment. And if you've not seen either of these Instagram accounts, I highly recommend them both, actually. The Nothing Experiment, which is Kalen's, is more sort of optical illusions, visual trickery, and dismantling what you think you're seeing in an illusion. Jeremy's account, on the other hand, which is Lost Angelus, or Lost Angelus, is sleight of hand magic, often sat at a table with a card mat. It's more sort of traditional, and it is all sleight of hand, so it's card magic and... That's pretty much it. It is the, the standard card magic, but he does it very, very well, I might add. He is a wizard when it comes to a deck of cards, a true master. And I think they are both masters of the arts they are trying to do. So when it comes to optical illusions, visual trickery, I've not seen anyone do it better than Kaylin. I've got to say, I'm a big fan of both of these magicians, and I want you to bear that in mind throughout this video. And also, I'm not really going to be taking sides in this argument, although I am going to be giving you my opinion and saying my piece at the end of it once I've given you the facts. I'm not really going to be taking sides. I'll explain why in a minute. But basically, this is what happened on Instagram. I started watching uh, the Nothing Experiments Instagram story and saw that he had put something... I don't even know how to describe it. Rather odd on his Instagram story, essentially attacking Jeremy, and what, from what I saw, pretty much unprovoked. I didn't know who had started this, but he put this on his Instagram story, basically saying that, I don't know, he was accusing him of like taking frames out of his videos to make his lapping seem better. Trying to expose another magician on their method seems like a very strange way of going about this whole thing. As we will see in a minute, it seems that maybe this didn't stem from Kalen. But to be honest, I don't really want to get bogged down in the who started who business, because it's a bit like a playground argument, you know? Just, we just need to grow up with things like this. Listen, Kalen, I posted some stuff that was snippy and I don't want to be that guy. So I'll answer four of your challenges. One minute, uncut, with some music and a bit of style, if you'll answer one of mine. Go for the same amount of time without using a single gimmick. Fair? Okay, so basically what he's doing there is setting Kalen a challenge of doing sleight of hand magic. Kalen responds by saying this. Jeremy, don't talk to a king like that. I will do only sleight of hand, no gimmicks, easy. But you have to step into my world. Use only gimmicks that you have designed that produce visuals we haven't seen, no cards. So basically, Kalen comes back at him and says, you've got to do this, and these are my terms, you can't use cards, visuals we've never seen before, gimmicks that you've created, and he also then adds this video, which I find hilarious, to be honest. Everyone watch very closely that Jeremy will not respond because it would be impossible for him to do what I just said. And that's because it's a real skill. So to all the creators out there, don't let people that do sleight of hand talk to you condescending. 
This is where I find it a little bit difficult to sort of take this argument seriously, because it appears that Kalen is taking this way more seriously than Jeremy. I mean, he is really, like, pointing at the camera, dropping F-bombs. It's just so childish. I'm sorry, that's the only word I can think of to describe this. This back and forth between these two well-respected magicians bickering over methods. Hey, big guy. You're right. I probably couldn't create a gimmick that no one else has ever seen before. But that's because I spent the past 20 years learning how to do magic without using any of it. So, let's get a couple of things straight, you sad little king. Number one, I love what you do. Even now. I think it's incredible. I mean, gaffing in general, but what you're doing is something remarkable. You're changing the way that magic is perceived and performed on Instagram. And I really do hope that you keep it up. Number two, does any of that creativity give you license to be abusive or talk to me or anyone else on this platform the way you have? F no. Hear me on this. We all have much more important sh going on than maintaining whatever ego thing you got going on. Grow up. Number three, take a victory lap. You won this one. And you got whatever followers this stunt got you. Now go back to doing what it is that you do best. Create those beautiful concepts or fade away into non-existence. I'm good either way. I think that's a really good video from Jeremy. I think that is, it puts a full stop under it, it puts a line under it, and it really draws attention to the fact that this is childish. There's a lot of sarcasm there when he's like, take a victory lap. Yeah, I think it's exactly what Kalen needed in a way. I'm a fan of both of them. Again, I'm not taking sides. I love both of their work, and this is really difficult for me to see this. But yeah, he openly says, I can't create gimmicks because that's not my expertise. I've been spending 20 years doing sleight of hand which I think is a fair argument. I don't think him doing the challenge would have proved anything. What would that have proved? I'm gonna be telling you about what I think of this. What do I think of this situation? And ultimately this boils down to the age old debate in magic of sleight of hand versus gimmicks. This is something that lots of magicians have had arguments about in the past, not as publicly as this and not as name calling or playground style as this, but certainly magicians have disagreed on this in the past. And here's what I think. I could not care less how you do your tricks. To be honest, I couldn't care. Doesn't matter whether you're using sleight of hand, camera tricks, whether you're using actors who are in on the tricks, VFX, or visual trickery and optical illusions like he's doing, or gimmicks, I don't care. It doesn't matter. There's a very age-old saying about uh, the, the theory in magic of by any means necessary, and I truly believe in that. And what it essentially means is you can accomplish your methods through any means that you want. Any method that you can think of is okay. And some people disagree about the whole camera tricks or actors thing, some magicians don't like those. Personally, I think those are fine, they're just another method. It's no more deceptive than using a double lift. You know, turning over two cards and saying it's one is lying, and using a camera trick and saying that it's not is also lying. There's no moral line here, it's all lies. That's what magic is, it's deception. So using deception in different ways, to me, I don't see any difference between those, and that's personally why I don't think camera tricks or actors are a bad thing. Although I, I know that's sort of a different argument. In this case, we're talking about slap of hand versus gimmicks. And it's so silly because these two magicians are different art forms. They are representing entirely different styles of magic. It feels like such a pointless argument when there's so much of a better use of time that these magicians can be doing. Instead of arguing about which one's better or who's doing what or setting each other silly challenges, how about we understand that magic is a very varied art form and Beethoven would completely disagree with Eminem. But they're still, they're still musicians, they're still doing music in the same way that these two people are still doing magic as a general umbrella term. But they're doing different things. Magic needs to develop as an art form, and the only way it can do that is if we appreciate every style of it and understand that magicians will have their own opinions about how tricks are done and how to perform them. I know this was a bit unusual, but I felt like I needed to say my piece on this because I have an audience and I think I think hopefully I've added something to this conversation and I'm not trying to stir anything up, you know me, I don't care for drama, I'm just trying to say my bit. Oh goodness me, this was an exhausting episode of Magic News. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and if you did, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below, let me know what you think in the comments but keep the comments nice, don't attack people, just give your opinions and you can disagree, that's completely fine, you can disagree with anything, I always say that. Have a back and forth in the comments but make it Make it grown up, you know. And you can subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want more videos from me. I talk about magic, I react to magic, I teach magic sometimes where it's appropriate. And uh, yeah, if you like magic, you might like my channel, so subscribe if you want to. 
All right, that's it. I'm gonna just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, have, I'm gonna have a big drink, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, coffee, not alcohol. I need to clarify that. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to be. Or you're gonna have to go.